Hey, hello and welcome back to our channel. So if you like this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to our channel. So let's start. So first need to clean my skin and remove all of the makeup and protect my eyebrows. And I need to pop in some lenses. <clears throat> and I do that off camera. Oh, that was Romy saying hello, but <clears throat> continue. So I got my lenses in and protect my eyebrows and I marked roughly where I want everything to go. So this is my little friend Romy. She's very interested in what I'm doing. So I'm going to take my Ben and I nose and scar wax and I make some nice deep set eyes. So I take my Prosade, if I can find it, yes, here it is, and I'm going to lay down a thin layer of Prosade so the nose and scar wax stays exactly where I want it to stay. So a thin layer, let it dry clear, oh, and um, use some Vaseline. I Put a blob of Vaseline on my hand so I have it when I need it and I don't have to dip into my jar all the time. So I roll the sausage and I'm going to make my eye casket, eye socket, it's an eye socket. So I blend it into the skin using my fingers and spatula, both dipped into of course the Vaseline it doesn't have to be too neat because it's a very rough look look so I dust everything off with the Meron setting powder and I start with the other eye and I did that off camera just to save a little bit of your precious time so here we have it, nice deep eye socket and to protect the, uh, the scar wax I use a few thin layers of the Meron Clear Latex. There's a few blobs <laughs> and I use a, a throwaway a brush which already my dog chewed on. <laughs> So a few thin layers just to protect everything. You can use fixative A as well. And of course, after everything is dried, I dust it off with, of course, the Meron setting powder. Now I take my Ben, ben Nye Studio Color Grease Paint Palette to make my eyes black. And I use my Titanic brushes as always. I love these brushes. <laughs> and I set everything with a black eyeshadow. Then I take my Magic Cake um, Creature palette from Ben Nye. Beautiful aqua paints. And I start coloring the nose. And the sides of my head and I really roughly slap it onto my face you know this is a voodoo priest or witch doctor and I want this look to be very um, rough looking at my lookbook and various pictures of voodoo priests or witch doctors it's always nice to have a few reference photos then i take the white from the palette and i used a bit too much water whoops <laughs> use a tissue to remove it and we continue on So it's almost Halloween. Yay. I can't wait really. <laughs> I 
I'm going to celebrate Halloween in New York this year. So see how the Americans celebrate it in a real life. You know, I've seen the movies and stuff, but <laughs> I want to experience it. So I take a stipple brush from Titanic and I rough everything up. Nice big strokes. And I even use my fingers to get a more grungy look. Okay, then it is time for some rags. So this is from my old mummy costume. And I'm going to apply it with my liquid latex from Neron. And of course, my disposable brush. I start off with the mouth. Now this is completely optional. If you want to eat and drink, then you can skip this step. But I decided to do it. I'll leave a little hole open so I at least can drink. <laughs> then I go over it with some liquid latex. Just building up this creepy creature. And I decided to cover my eye as well. You can make this as crazy as you want to. I decided just to do a one side of my face. So that's why I need to protect my brows because <laughs> you don't want to have latex in your eyebrows. Believe me, you don't. Doing a little dancey dance. Then I take my Magic Cake SFX palette and I take my stippling brush from Titanic and I add some blood tones. And then it is time for the Ben Nye Fresh Scab. Just to give it a little bit of a gore look. That's what we like in Halloween, you know, a bit of gore. Oops, on my chin. So this is a nice red stuff. I really love this. I take my spatula and dip into it. <laughs> and I just apply it on some random spots pots. Didn't want too much blood. Wanted to keep it subtle this time. <laughs> so okay, time for a wild hairdo. So I tease my hair. Pop on my bandana and my hat and I forgot my hands. How can I forget my hands? Okay, now I dirty them up with uh, some black paint and I'm going to use some mouth stain from makeup and some mouth blood from makeup just to color my mouth nice and uh, creepy. And there we have it. So see you guys next time. Same place, a different video. Oh, I forgot my eyeliner. Oh. So I need to do that before I go. Just color my waterline completely black. And then we are ready to celebrate Halloween in a witch doctor style. See you guys next time. Same place, a different video. Bye.